Hey everybody, welcome back. Neil here. So what I got going on today is I've been wanting to build a coal forge and on a recent live stream this last weekend one of the ladies on there mentioned what I thought was a brilliant idea. So what we have here is a lawnmower. The deck off the lawnmower. The handles once taken apart will be legs. We have the usual brake drum. This is actually a rotor drum inside for emergency brake on newer vehicles. And some two inch pipe. We got a two inch floor flange, a two inch T, a two inch cap. And this is all they had for lengths at the hardware store. So at the time being, this is gonna have to work. I'd prefer them to be a bit longer, but it'll still work. So what we're gonna do is take this Drill holes, mount it to the bottom of our drum. Airflow supply will come in through here. This will be to get rid of your ash, clinker, whatever may fall down in there. And of course, some kind of screen, preferably cast iron, to cover the holes to keep your coal from falling out. So, I just thought we'd journey along and see how we make out. This is something I've been wanting to do for quite a while, and today's the day. It's beautiful outside, so I figured we'd have at it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my brake drum. Before it gets to the rotor, measures nine and a quarter inches, which is right about in here. So I'm just going to take and loft this outer ring off because the rotor is going to sit down inside here anyway. And then once I do that, we'll flip it over, and I'll run a couple of beads of weld on top of that rotor the great thing about the area that i live in is the town down the street everybody puts their metal garbage in the alleys because the town down there small town but it's set up like a grid system so i spent a half an hour driving around this morning found me an old lawnmower found that brake drum so the only money i got into this so far is about 60 bucks for the two inch black iron pieces that I bought for the blower system. Yeah, the other thing I didn't mention was obviously I took the motor off and all that other stuff. I left this bracket on because I may want it for the legs we'll see i cut this piece off here and i may cut this back and even over here that way i have somewhere to put my work but as you can see i've gone and cut that ring off the top and now this fits right down inside it's a little bit higher but that's all right could have put it lower like this but I don't want it to get so hot that it's going to melt off the steel around here. So I'm fine with it being this way because this will be mounted probably with coal anyway. We'll see. I may change my approach, but we'll find out. So the next thing I'm going to do, obviously, is clean this up and get it ready for some welding. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut out this extra piece here just to have a little more access. I got a spot here that's going to need fixed because it's cracked. So I'll take the piece I cut out of here and use that to fix this. Now, I've got the legs welded on. And when you get into something like this, it's not in the best shape. Sometimes you burn through, but it ain't going anywhere. I'm out in the driveway, so it's a little wobbly. But in the garage on level ground, it works well. And I've gone and taken my two inch floor flange and drilled its holes out bigger to three eighths as well as mark and drill out three eighths holes through the drum so I could mount that on here. So the next step will be to take this and run a bead. I won't run a continuous bead because this sits in there as it is. And I decide I'm going to put it on top because I don't want the weight of it plus all the black iron, the two inch stuff hanging down underneath this because if someday it decides to give way, I don't need to have a fire breakout. But it'll last. 
for the foreseeable future anyway. I'll get what I need out of it until I have a chance to upgrade. Okay, well I decided not to put a bead the whole way around. I put a one and a half inch bead here, 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 and here. I mean, it's not going anywhere anyway. And it was probably stable enough as it is with the weight of the drum and the two inch hanging off the bottom, but just to keep it from moving, that way if one day I decide I want to take it apart or whatever, I'm sorry about the lights and the traffic. But that'll do it. I mean, it's getting dark outside, so I won't be able to film anymore. I'm trying to keep this video short anyway, but I'll fix this patch here, and then I've got a piece of steel that's already got grooves and holes in it I can put in there for now until I can get a piece of a cast iron grate and coming off of here what I've gone and done was just bought a ten dollar hair dryer from Walmart and if you take those apart you can take the motor out of it take the heating element off of it the motor and the fan and if I remember correctly it's uh it's either three inch schedule 40 or two inch that that'll fit right inside of and I can run that until I get my hands on a better blower and as I said I wanted longer pipe nipples but these were the only thing they had in stock was a to close a to close and a two and a half inch I hear some crackling so I would assume it's starting and yes the bad thing about using these legs are it sits 25 inches off the ground, but I can hike it up, not a big deal. I don't know, I still see some smoke, but I'm assuming, doesn't look like anything positive's happening anyway. It's still smoking, so I'll give it a second, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so, on this note, I don't know how to start a coal fire, apparently. Who knows? Do some research. All I know is what I see you guys doing. But, I will figure this out, because I will not fail. Alright, so, here we go. With a little help from Dana on getting a fire started, we have a fire. It'll take some getting used to, controlling the fire, controlling the coal, getting it to coke up and all that stuff, but we're going to give it a shot. Here's that tong blank I showed you in the other video I ruined by not putting my other set down up here. We'll put it in there. I definitely need to make some fire tools now. I raked all the coal away because I don't know if you can hear it, it's thundering in the background and it's about to downpour, it's starting to sprinkle now. And even though it's actually not putting off any smoke, it's not something I don't think I'm going to use inside. I might be able to take it just inside the garage door, we'll see. I'd love to play with it. I want to use it to make fire tools. We'll see. There's the rumbling. Sounds like we could be in for it. It's supposed to rain for the next week, which sucks. That is Western Pennsylvania though. All right, what do we got here? And already burning it. That quick, from the time you guys just seen me put it in there to actually burning the steel. I probably shouldn't have shoved it down in a little bit, but this is just to show that it does work and that we got it going. Here we go. All right. We'll go back into the anvil and start to forge something. All right, here we go. Out of the coal forge.
And there we have it. One coal forge. Alright everybody. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.